Wow. These are my lucky glasses. Doubt it. your screen, live image, may it go through first time, could I be, nope, gonna make me do it repeatedly. Okay, there we go. All right, so we see the problems with trade during the age of exploration. Now let's see why Europeans were still so eager to try it. European monarchs, that would be kings, queens, princes, princess, princesses, and merchants, so those are people who sell things, wanted to break the hold that Muslims and Italians had on trade. One way to do so was to find a sea route to Asia. Portuguese sailors looked for a route that went around Africa. This exploration was soon followed with new explorations by Spain, France, and Great Britain. Christopher Columbus made one of the most famous voyages of exploration in 1492. When he sailed from Palos, Spain, in search of a route to Asia and the Indies. Instead, Columbus found the New World, the Americas. Other countries soon followed Columbus's route. At first, Europeans saw the Americas as little more than a chunk of land blocking their way to the Indies. It didn't take long for them to realize that the Americas had great resources of its own. Americas? Yes, North and South America. Americas. So, to show you what they mean about going around Africa. Because those are just words, but when you see it in pictures, 3D. Okay. So it's too close. Here's Portugal on the side of Spain. Okay. They're trying to get over here. They want to go over he here. Okay. All right. Have you had your temper take temperature taken? All right. Come in. Portugal's over here on the side of Spain. It's this little country on the side. They wanted to get spices. That's what we've talked about, right? Mm -hmm. Explorers did and monarchs and such. So they wanted to go across Europe, across Russia to Asia to get over here to get spices. Okay. But they were finding it too dangerous and too expensive to go across land because there were people like land pirates on the land preventing them from going across the land safely to get to it. So they said, okay, we will go around Africa all the way. I can't see it this way. So Portugal here. We will go all the way around Africa on the ocean to get over here. That's a long way around, isn't it? Yeah. To avoid those land pirates. Yeah. Right? How long did it take? 
a car in 1400. All right, Logan. Yeah. How long did it take them? That would take months. Well, Instead, months. they went this way. He thought he could go across the ocean. It wouldn't be very far. And they would end up over in China. They thought they would end up in China, in Asia, to get their spices. But they came across this little landmass down here. Okay. He landed down here in, I believe, Haiti or Dominican Republic. He landed down here in the Caribbean Sea. That's where Christopher Columbus landed. He didn't land up here. He landed down here. Okay. Later explorers landed in the area of the United States. But earlier explorers landed down here. And then another expedition, he landed over here on another island. Well, they thought all this land, they would just get past quickly and go on to China. They didn't realize that this was two new continents never seen before by Europeans. Right, they didn't, they didn't know anything about South America and North America. Okay. All right. So this is where they were actually trying to go. They didn't know about these two little islands that were in the way. They're not little. And they're not islands either. They are massive. Okay. But you see the links they were trying to go around. Africa to get to China to avoid land pirates. Um, because they would kill them. That little problem. They would kill you first. All right. So. Let's write, why did European countries begin to explore the world according to this text? Don't do like my third block and just start making stuff up. Because that's what my kids in third block did and they do it repeatedly. They just throw out weird stuff. Well, my dog one time had puppies and this wolf came along. Yeah, no. Tell me stuff from this text. Huh? Yep. Is that true? They come up with weird stuff. Tell me, according to the text, why did European countries begin to explore the world? Spices. Okay, so wanted Europeans wanted spices. From where? Well, except from Asia. So they wanted to find what? Anybody recall? Okay, let me leave this here then. You guys can go back and reread it. Bryson. Well, that's not according to this. Quickly, quickly rescan that. It wasn't that they wanted to find Asia. What did they want to find? Spices. We already have that. They wanted to find what? They didn't accidentally find America looking for spices. Oh, that one 
They wanted to break the hold. How would they do that? They were not looking for the new world. Stop guessing and look at the text. What? Joanna, if you need to move forward, do so, but stop giving excuses. I need my students in this class to tell me what they were doing. Why were they on those waters? In order to trade, what did they have to do? Find a sea route. They needed what kind of sea route? They wanted to find a, what kind of route was that land route? Was it safe? So they wanted to find a safer were the ways that they were going were they cheap no. they were expensive weren't they yeah. so they wanted to find a safer faster and cheaper route to asia asia <laughs> It was like pulling y'all's teeth. Guys, if anybody wants to grade paper after paper, want to fill out all the forms based on what happened Monday, want to take on the school board for what they're doing with my son and um, plan out lessons for every next day, go ahead. Otherwise, stop making fun of me. Oh, and by the way, call up parents every night. Because that I've been doing too. What else were they doing out in the water? Well, they that that isn't said out there. I mean, it isn't said in that. Okay, they wanted to get away from the to avoid the dangerous. Well, we can just say dangerous dangerous land routes, right? and the expensive trading, right? Because it said it was um, trade routes were closed and the goods went through many hands, raising the prices, so it was expensive. So they wanted to avoid that. I feel like we're gonna add on to this more. Not that one.
Okay, everybody have that? Got it? Megan, do you have it? Lou, anybody there? Hello, hello. He is not here today for some reason. All right, next article. I kind of debate with myself doing all the reading, but I know if I'm reading, the person on Zoom can hear me. If I call on my friends to read, there's no way the person on Zoom can hear. Y'all can't talk that loud. Jacob Crudlick can, but he's so loud that my head hurts. <laughs> Okay, Jacob Crudlick. He's as loud as my husband. My husband is that loud too. Craig is awesome. Jacob is awesome. Awesome has as big a heart as my husband, but they're both loud. I don't have to tell Jacob to speak up. I don't tell my husband to speak up either. The funniest thing is when I tell Craig to call Colby, Colby can't hear him. I'm like, speak up. Seriously, Colby can hear me call him every time. He's probably trying to, um, he can probably hear him, but he just chooses not to. No, that's when Craig gets quiet, and I'm like, why? I treat my children like I'm a teacher, and they hate me for it. All right, Spanish exploration. Let me start this off with this, okay? Christopher Columbus is not somebody to idolize. I don't know if you guys have seen what's on the news recently with Christopher Columbus. But if you do a little extra research on Christopher Columbus, he was not a good guy. He was a good explorer. Somebody can be good at their job, but a bad person overall. That's him. Okay. He was a good explorer, but a bad person. Okay. There is talk of changing Christopher Columbus Day to Indigenous Peoples Day. I love that idea. It's the ultimate slap in Christopher Columbus's legacy in his face because of the things that he did and the things he represents. I love it. What did he do? He's a slave trader. Yeah. That's why he came to America. He was banished to the Americas after all his trips because he tried to take people back to Europe. We should all live for land to, to kill him. Yes. He was banished to Americas to stay here because he irritated people so much back in Europe because he kept trying to take people back that he smuggled and they told him no. That's not what they wanted him to do. They wanted him to create goodwill. I can't take a phone call on the teacher, dad, don't it? Um, the European monarchy said, no, that's not why we sent you to the Americas. After they discovered, you know, after they knew what they were looking at here in the Americas, they told them, you need to create goodwill. That's not why you're here. And he pursued what he was trying to do. And so he was banished here to the Americas. Like I said, he was a good explorer. He was a brave explorer, but a bad man. So that's why I'm prefacing this with, and I'm technically not supposed to tell you that because you're only fourth graders, but understand that some people's history is complex. Some people can be very good at their job, but be a bad person. You can be both, okay? Does that make sense? He was a good explorer, 
He had to be good at leading people, and he was. He led people, kept people alive, because I'm sure people were scared coming across the ocean and keeping them alive because his ships crashed. And he had to consolidate ships to get them to stay alive, you know? And that was a brave thing to do. And he was a good leader in those terms. However, what he did was bad. Please don't put those things in your desk. Take them with you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's read the article. Okay. In August 1492, Christopher sailed west looking for a trade route around Spain to Asia. Okay. So he sailed. And again, this is round, so it's kind of hard to do on here. I zoom out. He came from Portugal, but he's sailing from Spain because that's who paid him. He didn't have money himself to outfit three ships. So he had to go to kings and queens until he found someone, someone that would pay him to give him money to um, put all the supplies on the ships and loan them the boats and the men. So he was sailing west to get to the east. Okay. He wasn't sailing south. He was sailing west. He thought he could go west for a little bit and end up in the east over here. Okay. They did not know how big the world was. But let me point something out. How many of you have heard that Christopher Columbus thought the world was flat? I'm betting a bunch of you did, right? But think about it. If he thought the world was flat, why would he be going west to get east? Oh, because he thought the world was round. He thought the world was round. Otherwise, he would have thought he was going to fall off the side of the earth, wouldn't he? Yes. He clearly thought the world was round. He did not think the world was flat. The fact that he went west, not east, proves he knew the world was round. Somewhat. Okay. So, Christopher Columbus sailed west looking for a trade route around Spain to Asia. Come on, come in, come in. Columbus set out looking for gold, silver, and spices to bring back to Spain. After 10 weeks, come on, that's taking a while. Holy moly. Earth to elbow, come in. After 10 weeks, he sighted an island in the Bahamas which he named San Salvador. Let's get through the article. Thinking he had found islands near Japan. So he found, oops, wrong way. He found an island down here. He thought, he was over here, just a little bit off, you know, literally half a world away. Thinking he had found Japan, he sailed on until he reached Cuba, which he thought was mainland China. So Cuba would be down around here. And later he went on to Haiti. Do you remember when we were coloring the map yesterday? Yeah. Half the island was red. And the island was green. Okay. So Haiti would be the half that was red. That was the third little island that he stopped on on his first trip to America. And remember I say Americas because you have North America and South America. Okay. 
So the first place he landed was San Salvador. Second place was Cuba, which he thought was China. And then Haiti, which was that part that we colored red yesterday. Columbus returned to Spain with many products unknown to Europe. Coconuts, big coconut tree. They never saw a tree like that in Europe. Tobacco, sweet corn. Think about it. Corn is pretty darn cool. You can mash it up, grind it up. You can drink it. You can. Yeah, you can. Thank you. I enjoy my corn products. Potatoes were never known in Europe until they came here. Potatoes are so incredibly good. Yes, I agree. So Columbus went back to Europe with coconuts, which are very sweet. And coconut milk is pretty incredible if you've never had it. I've never had it in my life. Tobacco, which can be smoked and also relaxes people. Minus all these things that they add to it now, but back then that was the added to it, which breaks back up. Sweet corn potatoes, and with tales of dark skinned native people who he called Indians because he thought he was in India. He had no idea where he was because he assumed he landed in the Indian Ocean. That is pretty interesting. Later voyages to North America because he made multiple trips here and the new world by Columbus were used to convert the Indians to Christianity stop talking those of you on the floor you need to spread out okay so what were um, Christopher Columbus's motivations what were Spanish motivations to, to move around Spain began to explore why? Why? Yes, that's the country. It's right up there. Looking for a trade route from where to where. There you go. Looking for a trade route. To Asia. Via what? Were they looking for it across land? Via the what? Across. Were they looking to go across land? What were they looking to go across? Cross, via the ocean. Via means across. What specifically were they looking for? Look what else. 
gold, silver, and okay. They also wanted gold, silver, and no, and spices. In later expeditions, expedition means a trip. The Spanish, what? What did it say that Columbus did in his later trips? Look at what it says he did in later voyages. So they were spreading religion. Later expeditions, the Spanish wanted to convert. Natives to Christianity. This week we're going to look at pictures of them converting. Not pretty pictures. Oh no. Is it sad? Yes. Yes, it is. No, no, if you go to a church that does this, I'm so sorry. Let me know where it is so I can avoid it. You'll see. Kayla, your backpack back is my dress. Yeah. Does it have tea spilled on it though? My dress does. Half my, half my tea spilled out. Are you wearing gold? Yep. Does your backpack have gold on it? Is that why she asked? Oh. Yes. <laughs> Not my purple glasses because my purple glasses I wore for day for two days brought me nothing but horrible luck. All right, we ready to go to the next article? Okay. All right, quiet. If you were absent yesterday, you're going to need to color your map. You just need to look on with somebody else's to get done. Jordan. Oh, you were in here. Yeah. 
Who was absent yesterday? No, just Anthony. Okay. All right. All right. Has everybody got this? <laughs> Not talking at the front. Not talking. At the front. I All right, French exploration. While Spain was building its new world empire, France was also exploring the Americas. In 1524, Giovanni de Verrazzano was sent to locate a Northwest Passage around North America to India. So Columbus was sent from Spain west to find China. Verrazzano was sent from France to find a Northwest Passage. So he's going west also to get to India. Not quite to China, but to India. Okay. But here's another guy being sent west to end up in the east. So did he think the world was flat? Well, if he thought it was flat going west, he would end up falling off. Did it break? Pick it up, throw it away. If going west and he thought the world was flat, he would fall off the earth, guys. Right? So he was sent to find a northwest way to get to the east. If he thought the world was flat, he would fall off the world then. So did he think the world was flat? No. no. So while Spain was building its new world empire, France was also exploring the Americas. In 1524, so that's about 25 years after um, Columbus, Giovanni de Verrazzano was sent to locate a Northwest passage around North America to India. So France could also have a fast and cheap way to trade with India. He was followed in 1534 by Jacques Cartier, who explored the various regions throughout Canada. Okay, so let's look at French motivations. The French Stop talking. Explored miss that. Oh, it's a hole right there. To find a way to what? To what country? 
India. I'm going to say from France to India. And this would be why we write in pencil, not pen. They wanted a fast and cheap route. Okay, so we got that first part put on there, okay? All right, let me keep reading with it. In their travels, French explorers were sent to find gold, silver, and spices. Is that the same thing that Spain was looking for? Same thing. Unlike Spain's empire, New France did not produce any gold or silver. Instead, the French traded with inland tribes for furs and fished off the coast of Newfoundland. Finally, missionaries were sent to New France to convert the native tribes to Christianity. Is that the same thing that uh, Spain did? Did Spain convert people also? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't they spread their religion? Yeah. And that's what French did also. So French explorers went out looking for gold, silver, and spices. Did they find any gold or silver? No. No. Instead, they traded for furs and fishes and fish. They the fish. Okay. So, like Spain. French went looking for what? Gold. Gold. Silver, spices. Gold, silver, and spices. Unlike Spain. They did not get any gold or silver. Instead, they did what? Traded furs and fish. They also converted tribes to what? To clown school? What? There you go, Christianity. You have to remember that a lot of this was being fueled by a desire to spread religion. Okay.
Bless you. This last article I will read to you, but you're going to do the notes yourself, okay? Because we've done three together, you'll do the last one alone. All right, just a heads up. I'm not sure if Ms. Ramitas has given a homeroom count to Ms. Hay, but you will be receiving uh, school planners in the next couple days. You will need to get pages three through nine in your planner filled out and signed by your parents and returned back to the school as soon as possible. We didn't send home a lot of forms this year, did we? They're in your school planners. Get them filled out and signed and returned as soon as possible. And guys, most of the papers y'all have brought back, a lot of them have had gross things on them. I've had coffee spilled on some. I've even had, and I'm going to put it as delicately as I can, nasal secretions on several papers turned into me. I'm putting that as nicely as I possibly can. Because y'all know how blunt I am and I'd really like to call that out for what it is. Please don't do that. Use sanitizer before you handle those things. Please don't turn in your papers with more than just paper on it, paper and ink. You, you understand what I'm saying? We're not in the mode for passing germs amongst each other. That's not the point. We're not trying to shut down our school because we're passing germs around. That's not the name of this game. Our school has done well with keeping viruses at a lower level than the community. Other schools haven't done so well. But you happen to have a school that's doing a fantastic job of keeping things clean. Knock on wood, it continues that way. There are three Caddo schools that are shut down as of today for COVID, flu, strep, and cold. And we're doing just fine. Let's keep it that way. Let's don't make this bringing back the forms thing be our Achilles heel. Keep our hands clean, keep the papers clean, okay? Got it? All right, so I want everybody to stay healthy in here. I like being here with my students, not virtual, okay? Mm -hmm. You need to go to the office. Go. All right. You're going to miss this last article, though. Okie dokie. British exploration. By the mid 16th century, England had recognized, so that would be the mid 1500s, England had recognized the advantages of trade with the East. That would be China, India. And in 1560, English merchants enlisted Martin Frobisher to search for a Northwest Passage to India so they could find a faster and cheaper route to trade. Explorers also set out to find riches of gold, silver, and spices. When these explorers came back to England, they brought reports of lands abundant with resources. Qu 
Queen Elizabeth granted charters to Sir, Wer Sir Humphrey Gilbert and Sir Walter Raleigh to colonize America. Gilbert headed two trips to the New World. He landed on Newfoundland with the intentions of building military posts. The purpose of making these military posts was to increase the power and size of England. That's something different. So write your notes about British exploration, their motivations, okay? Look at how we wrote the ones for Spain and France and do your one for British.
Okay, does everybody have it done? If you're still working on it, raise your hand. Okay. Set my timer four minutes. Turn it sideways and I'll cover up his ugly mug. No, you hold on to it. Ricardo, did you realize those things? True. Once you finish this, please return to your seats. You notice it's the first one, according to our text, that said the country set out to increase their size and power in the world. Right? France and Spain, according to our text, did not set out with that goal. Now, I'm betting they probably did, but our text did not say that. Britain set out with that goal. And if you look at the size of their home country, England is tiny, isn't it? It's an island. They have to do something to increase their power. And it's going to be by colonizing other areas. France is a lot bigger than England. England's tiny. The only thing they can do is take over other land to make themselves bigger and more powerful. That's what they did. Portugal, Russia's huge, but yeah, Russia still went out and took over more land. Russia's massive. Portugal, Spain, France, England, they all went out and took over lots of land. Spain was ruthless in what they did. We'll see that in the next days. Okay. Everybody has these done. So let's do this topic sentence together and just like that poster says restate the question or prompt and when I was growing up they actually gave us questions now they give us prompts okay so I'm just taking the prompt and rearranging it to make a topic sentence early European explorers that's going to be our subject early European 
and it's capitalized, the first word. This is the continent, so it's a proper noun, so it's capitalized. What page are we on? This is, it should be the back of this. Let me see if I copied it that way for you guys. Nope, did not. Okay, so what you're gonna need to do is put this on notebook paper. And don't worry about writing this little bit on it. So just write this on notebook paper, okay? Early European explorers had different motivations. How should we word this? Because each country had different motivations, didn't they? So how should we word that, guys? That doesn't make sense. Early European explorers had different motivations, Spanish, British, French. Help me out. Okay. Okay. Well, we got to make a topic sense. Early European explorers had different motivations. So, Anna. How about not use the word because? How about we use a word like depending upon the country? And that makes it easy for you to then talk about one sentence about, or two, about Britain's motivations. And then a sentence or two about France's motivations. And then a sentence or two about Spain's motivations. And then what do you think your last sentence is going to be? A concluding sentence. And there's your paragraph. Bam. Get it. Okay. So get it done, guys. Okay. You've got 15 minutes till we go to enrichment. Yep. Yes, you have to indent that first pair, that first sentence, just like I did. Okay. Just like I did. You know, I did it. I did it over. I 
those motivations include minimum of cost. Jordan Thompson for checkout, please. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Jordan, take it home and um, message back with the completed cost. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.
Okay, my friends, we have five minutes till enrichment, okay? Um, are you finished with that? Okay. Hunter, I don't know why you're standing, but you need to sit. Remember, I'm the one to grade your work, so I know how your work is. Yeah, you're not putting in your folder. I get to grade it. I need your first and last name on the front of your page. Bye. Right now, I'm still grading, so I need you to sit. I need you to sit with your paper on top of your folder. Here is your five And then when we go back to clients, we'll bring it right back up here. Okay? All right, friends, we have two more minutes remaining, okay? Yes, four and
All right, let's line up. Why is someone talking? Yes, all my dogs are Aussies, but Cookie is my inside Aussie. My really smart one. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you. 